Hi, everyone. Uh, I'll run through two demonstrations that will highlight how we enable our customers to migrate to Azure Cloud. Um, and specifically for these demos, um, it's, it's focused on how we automate the process and allow uh, an admin to quickly bring up the network that enables that uh, connectivity. Uh, this first use case is geared towards um, high bandwidth demand scenarios, um, leveraging active passive IPsec tunnels between SD-WAN devices that are um, on-prem uh, connecting to Azure Virtual WAN hubs uh, that are in your Azure subscription. Okay. So as mentioned previously in this presentation, one way is to have Citrix SD-WAN devices on-prem establishing those tunnels to Azure Virtual WAN for quick and easy network connectivity from site locations to Azure regions. First, I'll demonstrate how easy that automation process is by leveraging SD-WAN Orchestrator to configure both SD-WAN devices and the Azure subscription as endpoints of these IPsec tunnels. So configuration is uh, simple. We'll start in our Azure portal where I've already provisioned our virtual WAN resource. And within that, I have created a hub in one of the available regions. This just takes a few clicks to create, but it does take about 30 minutes to provision. So I've done this ahead of time. So Azure does allow one hub per region. And for that hub, I've made sure to enable the site-to-site -site VPN function which will be used to establish IPsec tunnels to branch off as SD-WAN devices. We've also created a service principle for Azure Virtual WAN, allowing SD-WAN orchestrator to authenticate to Azure APIs that enable for automated connectivity between Virtual WAN and the SD-WAN devices. Uh, a registered app was also created in the same service group, um, resource group as the Virtual WAN with appropriate role permissions. Okay, so now on SD-WAN Orchestrator portal, we can complete the configuration. I'm starting with the SD-WAN solution already deployed in this environment. We can globally enable a delivery service of Azure Virtual WAN by simply allocating a percentage of internet WAN link types. This centrally enables it for potentially thousands of remote office sites with internet links. Next, we'll input the Azure subscription credentials, which allows that communication via API between Orchestrator um, and uh, the Azure subscription. So with those components in place, we can make the association between the available Azure Virtual WAN in our subscription and the branch sites available in Orchestrator. So as we add a site that will be the endpoint to these IPsec tunnels, the table will populate with the Virtual WAN information pulled from that Azure subscription. You'll be able to select your available virtual WAN resource and hub from the subscription, then associate the sites. This is a simple lab with minimal amount of sites, but here you can select multiple sites simultaneously so that the same API requests are issued across all the targeted sites. And that's where the value of this solution comes from, the automating a lot of the work that typically would have to be done manually in order to define endpoints of these IPsec tunnels, both in Azure and on-prem. So the rest is automated by Orchestrator. It's leveraging API communication between the two cloud services, and the status will update as it goes through the various stages of deployment, updating the remote site devices with IPsec configuration so that the remote sites have an entry point into workloads available in Azure VNets through the SD-WAN provided tunnels.